What's up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac here at the Brap Spot. About ready to fire up the modded LRP.32 X Spec 4 in the oldie but goodie uh, XTM Mammoth ST. Uh, got the Badlands on with the DE racing rims. We're going to try out the uh, Reds 2104 pipe with the header. This is the one that came with that uh, Reds R5R racer that I just got. Uh, we got the Novarossi carb, obviously, otherwise the, the LRP.32 just doesn't run right. So anyway, we're going to fire up. See what she's got. It's uh, sunny, warm <coughs> in the 80s. I know some of you guys back east are getting a little bit of heat wave. You guys are either freezing your ass off or you guys are sweating your nuts off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm spoiled. Southern Cal, there's just no place like home, man. I've lived all over the place. I've lived back east. I've lived in Texas. I've lived on the east coast. Just born and raised in SoCal and you just can't beat the weather, man. It's going to be a hot one. Uh, they say because of the long winter that we got. I mean, here we got a lot of a lot of rain. So usually when we get a lot of rain like that, that means we're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of heat. So anyway, I think we're up to about. Let's see what our temp is right now. You know the muggy. I like to saturate my. Uh, we're about one one forty. I like to saturate my motor, my any of my engines before I wrap them. With uh, I use a head warmer. This one is this head warmer is like I've had for a few years. It's pretty beat down. Uh, you guys will see it. I'll show it to you before I retire it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. With that. I mean, it still works, but it's just the the material that's around it's just shredded. <laughs> the only thing left is pretty much the part that heats it up. But I got a brand new one coming in the mail soon. We're gonna do some more goodies, some more unboxing. I got uh, you know some some shit coming. But anyway, let's fire this thing up and uh, see what she's got. And uh, I'll try to do my best on, you know, my amateur camera work here. But anyway, let's uh, let's get her brapping, people. Let me see what kind of angle I can get, you guys. Not much, but I'm getting something. All right, let's fire this baby up. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
I know she is definitely not warmed up yet, but 160, we'll see. We're gonna uh, get her to idle. Settle down a little bit. Let's do, uh, I'm gonna do a pinch test, cause I wanna see where my, uh, my low end is good. You know, when you change stuff, like I said before, you know, I changed the pipe. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, I might need to do a little bit of retuning. Shouldn't be too much. But, you know, whenever you change stuff, pipes, you know, uh, it's temperature. I mean, a lot of things play into factor. So uh, we're going to see where we're at. like a second or two off so let's uh richen her up just a tad not much <laughs> She's okay. So let's fire her up.
She's a little rich, but you know, when you're modern, they like to run rich. <laughs> It's dusty. Oh yeah, she's a screaming. Well, she seems to like this uh, red pipe. Oh yeah, she's hitting some high notes. <laughs> Woo, she's screaming, people. Pizza cutters. <laughs> I've got a 13 on here. I think I should throw a 14 to kind of mellow it out because it really hits some, you can hear it. It's hitting some ballistic RPMs. That's all no Rossi carburetor right there, people, man. If you want an LRP, whether you, if you want your LRP .32, spec four, whether you keep it stock or mod it, um, you gotta run this Nova carb, man. And by the way, FYI, the carburetors, you can find them used on some of the .21s. It's the same carburetor. Mr. Zah mentioned it, it'll work on the, on, on the LRP. And you can get them for about 30, 40 bucks. That way you don't have to spend 70, 80 bucks, almost 100 bucks on a car, man. I don't know how much abuse they, uh, Muggy can take, especially these gearboxes. <laughs> She's ripping, though.
when you're ripping it around people and you hear a little little blurping that's usually when you're running low on fuel and uh, you know we all do it and that's why I, it's better for that fact to run really rich because if you do get all caught up you know like we all do and wrapping and ripping around if you do run out of fuel which like I said that's it's not good um, but thank God that I run this thing rich um, or when that happens you could scar your sleeve oh yeah she's she's uh this thing's sucking gas too so do as i say not as i do <laughs> you heard that before right okay but uh i want to uh take this will give me a chance to take a break really quick um when i run it like this especially with the older vehicle you know, because this thing, this is, they don't make it anymore. And I know in the last vehicle, we beat up the Mugen a little bit. And, you know, that's, that's different. Even though that Mugen, my Mugen buggy, is about a year difference. Which means these are both of the, the XTM and the Mugen came out. The Mugen came out, I think, 2004. The XTM Mammoth ST came out in 2005. So they're, they're about 13, 14 years old. But, ooh, man, this thing's got shit dirt rocks um all in her but especially this thing the megan's one thing because like i said the buggy i, don't, I can beat that thing up and it's it, it can pretty much handle anything um this thing it's a little bit different like i said they don't make them anymore so i'm not trying to beat the hell out of this thing uh because it's discontinued man you heard mr Zase, say i mean he wants to jump, you know, if he ever one day fires up the, uh, the, um, let me see if this makes sure everything's cool. The muggy. He wants to, uh, drop that muggy off the roof but you know you just it's when you have something discontinued you, it's not something you want to do i mean especially you know the way he is that's funny coming from him because you know mr zai likes to beat his shit up and jump it off barns and shit um you know which like i said to each his own if that does it for you then cool um that really doesn't do a lot not that i don't want to launch these and hopefully my friend's almost done like i mentioned a friend of mine's building a ramp uh, I don't, I, I've seen pictures of it. It looks pretty cool. Um, that we can, you know, take up to here and place it out here somewhere and just launch our shit. I still wouldn't do it with this. <clears throat> Even though I have a lot of spare parts for it. I got extra arms and I got extra gearboxes and shit that might break. You know, knock on wood. This thing, as long as I had it, like almost, what, over four years now? Um, and ran, you know, numerous motors through it. Um, I broke in the Nova Rossi, modified 28.8 Rex Legend through this thing. And that's when I last had my second speed. Because I didn't have the little claw. If you guys know about the second speed that some of the MTs have and Savages, you adjust the claw to come out at a certain RPMs. And I don't have it adjusted. You got to be careful with modded motors because if that claw comes out when it's, you know, screaming hard, if you don't, if you don't have it set right... When that claw comes out and grabs second gear, you're going to strip gears. I blew up the two-speed that I have in here. I don't know if I'll ever put a two-speed back in it. I mean, two-speeds are cool. I liked it at first. I still think they're cool because it's like you got, wah, wah. You, like you got, you know, second gear to kick into. But when you're out here ripping around, I mean, single gear is okay. And I've got a 66 spur on here. With a 13 pinion and you can hear the thing just screaming i mean it's it's it'll scream even more i'm not even pegging the throttle all the way i'm like three quarters throttle um because i've had a motor blow up on me before once and that's all it took man that's the last thing you want to do is be screaming your shit and then you hear a tink and that's it and the way these motors are too expensive and then when you mod them and all the money you put into that's why you guys always hear me preach Take care of your shit, maintain it, upkeep it. Trust me, this thing is going to get torn down completely 
and I mean every nut, bolt, nuke and cranny will be polished. That's the way I roll. Some vehicles I can get away with a surface clean if they're not too bad, but it's so dusty and dirty out here. This thing's going to have, I mean you can already see, especially this side, as you know, is where the exhaust fumes come off. So you're running rich. This side is completely going to get tore up. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, I, I don't, I'll leave this the way it is, the gearing, but I think I'm going to go up a tooth, a 14. That'll kind of mellow it out a little bit um, on top end. I mean, it has plenty of top end. These things are freaking ballooning. I'm getting pizza cutters like crazy. Um, but yeah, she rips. Um, I just wanted, I got off early today, so I told you guys that I would, you know, come out and run this thing. I probably won't run again um, <coughs> until this weekend because it's going to take me a few days. Uh, little by little to tear this thing apart and clean it really good. Now, I want to let you guys know, and hey, I, I just keep it real, okay? I came out, before I started this video, I was just about ready to film earlier. Um, and let me show you what happened. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. It just happened. It is what it is. But uh, one of my, uh, I don't even know if I have the other part. My... Uh, the outer drive in here, where it comes out of the uh, rear gearbox, that shit fucking exploded. That's what I'm talking about. This cheap, these cheap fucking pot. And you know, you guys know what I do for a living. I know my metals. This pot metal, I call it, which has a lot of air in it. This shit isn't very strong. So I'm gonna. I think uh, I have extra ones good thing. I've got you know a lot of extra parts for this thing But look at that. I just fired it up ring ring ring. And I was giving it some R's and the, and then all of a sudden I Heard a pink and this shit flew out. <laughs> I'm like what the hell? Yeah, that's that's done like dinner. I mean Aluminum ones almost should be stronger than when you in my opinion and with working with metal cheap shitty Chinese steel like this as, as strong as steel is, you know, good steel, stronger than even aluminum, sometimes a 7075 anodized aluminum is stronger than this shit. And some people will say, well, it's aluminum. It's not going to be as strong. It'll be lighter than steel, obviously, but not as strong. Well, quite to the contrary, I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, as you guys know, the Techno has, I took the steel dog bone, front and center drive shafts out of the techno the stock ones and they were skinny anyway and put some beefy ass thick aluminum 7075 anodized aluminum ones in the front and rear of the techno so not only did it lighten it they're even stronger than actually the steel because the steel ones are just they're too thin i mean if that was thicker steel it would be a lot stronger and less chance of bending but it also would be heavier too uh, you know, and if you know anything about rotating mass, if you can get, if I can get, I know Mr. Za, he mentioned in one of his recent videos, he's got titanium drive shafts that he's got made or whatever for his 4.0 Truggy. Um, I might think about doing that to my Techno and, and maybe even the Mugen, you know, even though I've never had a bending issue. I know the TLRs, the original stock, um, you know, um, dog bone drive shafts bend all the time um because they're just too thin that's probably why he got the titanium ones made or whatever but anyway i had to come go back to my pad i had to rip the rear end out put a new drive shaft on it and we're good so it was just a technical thing but i just thought i'd share that with you you know i have issues sometimes it doesn't go as uh, uh, you know perfect uh but i you know i didn't even i was gonna i was just getting ready to film before that happened i was like oh shit you know so anyway i thought i'd share that with you <laughs> but she's running strong Badlands, um, we're going to try to address an issue. The problem with the Badlands, when you start running modified motors, if you guys got stock motors, not too much to worry, although .32s and .28 Rex Legends stock are still going to give you ballooning issues, even with the DE racing rims, no matter what. Like I mentioned in the past, I'm going to look into better quality foam because the Proline, all their foam, even the blue shit, which is supposed to be better, is garbage. Obviously, the white shit that comes with Badlands, those are garbage. You can turn them inside out. Gorilla tape on the inside, one layer of Gorilla tape, um, which will add a little bit more weight. But you know, at the end of the day, more when you just 
have too much baloney, you're going to start wearing bearings, you're going to start wearing drive shafts, outer drives, you know, you're going to wear your everything because it's, the wheels are, when they balloon like that, it's just unstable and it's, you know, it's, it's causing more wear on your drive train. So, you know, FYI, that's, that's what the deal is. But other than that, Badlands, you got to have, man. Um, they're, they're the best by far, um, um, Truggy tires that you can have so anyway we got more fuel in there i'm gonna fire up a little bit more we're almost at 30 minutes so i'm gonna cut this short you guys seen her rip around she's screaming her lungs off hitting high notes i think a 13 tooth is too low so i'm so i got a 13 66 i think i'm gonna try to go a 14 um i think that'll give me more less a little bit less top end if I'm not mistaken, I always get that backwards. Somebody will correct me if it's not. Either that or if I put a, a 12 tooth on it, maybe that'll give me less bottom and more top. But I think it's the other way around. Because I got a 66 spur with a 13 pinion and it's just screaming its ass off. <laughs> this thing is just like, yeah, you hear the shit, man. It's just hitting some serious high notes. But other than that, she's fine. I'm going to run her around a little bit more after I get done filming this. And uh, we'll see you back at the Nitro Cave. So anyway, <laughs> um, shout out to my new subscribers. Welcome to the Muggy Maniacs ch uh, channel of no bullshit, no BS, straight cut, reality, 8 scale Nitro. It's all about, most of the time, it's all, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's all about Italian. Okay? Obviously, that's a rice burner motor. LRPs aren't made in, even in Japan. They're made in China. That's a China man. Um, but it's got, you know, the heart of an Italian because it's got the Novorossi carb on it, which you, you, I, I strongly recommend it. Okay, do what you want. And it's got the, this, this uh, red pipe on here, which is doing really well, man. I really like this red pipe, and I didn't expect much from it because it is a conical header. You know, it's not a 41032, and it's not the 086 or 9886. It's more of a 053 dynamite style because it's long. And FYI, just like I mentioned with, with the headers, pipe's the same way. Shorter the pipe, the more bottom and mid you're going to get. Uh, you'll get top end. It'll scream, but you won't get that, you know, like, freaking speed run top end. The longer the pipe, the more mid and the more top you're going to get. So, but this thing's doing pretty well. So, anyway, that's all I got, people. I got to get this thing before it cools all the way down. I don't have to, I don't want to heat it up again. And, uh, I'm going to wrap it some more. But other than that, man, this freaking deck, over a decade old XTM Mammoth ST, um, I did put the cooler on here. So, now all my vehicles, this was the only one that didn't have one. Fuel cooler, I recommend them. Just like I said, before you use them, unscrew the, the little nipples on the end, Loctite them with the blue Loctite, screw them in, let them dry up. That way you have no air leaks at all. Um, but other than that, we'll see if we can make it uh, some more running and uh, won't have any more issues. But that's the only issue I had was the, the, the outer drive uh, cup. Drive cup, I believe it's called. Diff cup. Outer drive diff cup. I think that's the correct pronunciation and if you can run one of these if you guys got monster truck specially and i know you got plenty of room if you're not running a motor saver and an outer wear you're a crazy man <laughs> unless you got a piece of shit motor then who cares blow it up suck shit into it but when i'm running you know bigger motors and more pricey motors even though this is an italian especially on my italians motor saver and outer wear period end of score end of story not even a discussion man trust me you can't go wrong even as dirty as this thing's gonna get i guarantee you i'll open up in the middle part of it won't even have any dust in it at all these are i highly recommend these filters man best filter and by the way these filters with the outerwear and the motor saver have been dynoed okay um to give you more rpms and to perform better so all right people that's all i got i'm gonna do a little bit more brapping and i'll catch you guys back at the cave peace out